Hello and welcome to Youth Squad Legends episode 67. I cannot believe it's 67 episodes long now. That is fucking mental. Anyway, whilst I'm loading this up, why don't we have a squad report? But it's a very special squad report. Because it is a squad report read out by Huz and Shawnee of Team Happy. Hey guys, Sean here from Team Happy. I'm with us. What's up guys, a special squad report just for Cutsy Gaming. Oh yeah. And a youth squad legends. <laughs> so here we go. First off, Simon Kuchunga. He's up to a 75, up by two. Yeah, 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 up by two, boy. <laughs> Johan Pereira. Up to an 87, up by three, 32 million. Crazy amount of money. That's incredible, 87. Mark Halfar. Up from a 79, up to an 81, going up by two, the centre back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicky Lang. Up to an 81. Up by two again. Not very happy there, unfortunately. Should be happy. <laughs> Ashley Woodard. Up to a 77. Up by four. Mint stats he's got. Daniel Ramos. Up from an 80. Up by three. 83. Crazy. Paul McLean. 78. Only up by one, though. One of a slow growth, but... Ross Ball. Oh, dear. 74. Only up by two. Domenico Poscopo. 88 up by 2. Phenomenal. Jacopo Ramizi. Up from 81 to 83. 20 million. Jacopo, actually. Jacopo. Abra Jim Kalachuk, who's just come back. And he's at 78. Oh, not up by anything yet, though. Federico Scraglamillo. Up to a 78. Up by 1. Rodrigo Vieira de Sosa. 74 up by 1. It's a sexy name, that. <laughs> Ben Burns. Ben Burns in the classic. Up 79, up by one. Not really a sexy name. But <laughs> John Saunders. John Saunders up to a 75, went by one. Matthew Grant. Has not gone up apparently because he looks really shit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Rafael Marquez Torres Peloto. Up to an 82 from an 81. 15 million. Xavier Le Marchand. Xavier. That's a quality. Sha Xavier Le Marchand. has got by nothing. Matt Dorber. He's gone down. 20, he's gone down already. Salim Kutsu. <laughs> Mark Kudri. 61 up by one. What potential, maybe. Possibly. Lucas Perez. Rapid. 898. Oh my god, he's up by two. It's absolutely rapid. Edward Melberg. Oh, that's Melberg's younger brother. Doubtful. <laughs> up by two. Edward Cartiera. Up by one. It's up to a 75. Yoshino Tashikida. Up by one. Up to a 64. Little young left back. Carle Morris. By one. Up to a 72 as well. Andres Sederberg. Ooh, potential. 75 up by two. Rodrigo da Silva Cavallo. That's <laughs> the little thing you do doing there. 73 up by one. And Fabio de Menzes. 75 plus one. Robson da Silva Robson. Oliver. Robson? Not going up at all. Apparently he's shit, but... <laughs> and oh Guzmeski Tanuno da Silva Abueu. Wow, who named him? Seriously. Up by one. Up to a 71. So there we go. There is a squad for four... Squad report. Squad, Squad report. report for Cutsy Gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Put our little foreign name, unique twist on it. Unique twist, yeah, because you don't have to pronounce some of the names. but Yeah, there we go, guys. It's been Hush Team Up here. And this has been Shawnee. And we'll see you later. Peace out, people. I want to say a massive thank you to Team Happy for doing that for us. That is ace brilliant. It was so funny. Listening to that for the first time, it was hilarious. Um, yeah, let's go on with this episode. Chesterfield are oh, three points clear at the top. Um, still the main rivals are Spurs, I'm guessing. If they win their game in hand, they're only one point behind us. So, yeah, just got to watch out for Spurs. Um, make sure that this is on Legendary, because I don't know what happened in the co-op. It, it was just a blur. The two hours were just a blur. I was sweating at the end rate. It was so warm in this room. Um, yeah. But we've got to November so quickly. Fucking hell. I've been probably signed out of the EA servers again. Oh, man. It's a big game now. Big game against Arsenal. I've only got one day's rest until I play Wigan afterwards. Um, we've got a youth squad report. Yeah, I haven't done a youth squad report for a bit. So let's, let's go through these guys. Bruno Carmona. Let, I'm not even going to talk about him. Let's release him. Uh, Jordi Garcia, Jordi Garcia, should I say? Overall of 56 to 60, potential of 79 to 85. Juan Aguilar, um, overall of 57 to 61, potential of 80 to 86. He looks a phenomenal keeper. 
Uh, what, what did we call him? Deray Gadge. Yeah, fantastic. Um, what a central defensive midfielder. Uh, overall of 61 to 65, potential of 81 to 87. We've also got Kim Fridge Jensen, overall of 54 to 58, potential of 78 to 84. Costa Boynes, overall 54 to 58, potential of 76. Nemanja Gabric, the one that I am looking forward to playing with. He's the striker, the beastly Serbian striker, overall of 60 to 64, potential of 83 to 89. Pablo Munoz, overall 53 to 57, potential of 73 to 79. Actually, he should be released. The beast, the legend, the great centre-back, that is Stefan Hovarth. Overall of 63 to 67. Potential of 84 to 90. I can't wait until next season because he's coming straight into the first team. And wow, we'll have Hovarth, Saunders, Burns, uh, Peloto, um, Halfar and Pereira fighting for the same place. And the Braves, to be honest. The Braves not out of the picture. Uh, yeah, massive, massive co competition in that position. And then there is Zahar Alam, um, another striker, an Algerian striker. He's not very good, is he? He's already 16. Um, yeah, let's release him. I, I'm not going to play him. But that's basically it. That's the youth squad right now. Here we go. Next match. It is at home to the mighty Arsenal. The past masters. Uh, yeah, the passing masters and the pass masters. Why not? They always get into the fucking Champions League Jack Wilkshire their star player at the moment We're gonna have to do it now. We're gonna have to step up our game The last episode was so fucking crazy that like um, I Can't remember just like commentating on my own. <laughs> I can't remember it It's gonna be kind of lonely I haven't got a second voice. <laughs> oh well. Okay. I've done it for many, many episodes. I can do it again. Let's go. Come on. Pump myself up. Come on. We're going to win this. <laughs> oh, lovely block by Pereira there. Still got work to do. They're passing like bitches. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. If that didn't have the deflection on the way. I think we might have been seen 1 0 to Arsenal already. Kalancho. Ramiz has got plenty of space. So has the Scopo. Oh, it's just wonderful skill. Ross Ball. Oh, there's a chip in. Oh, this is brilliant. It's Kalancho. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, yes! You know what's the best thing about that? Arsenal's just got played off the fucking park! Yeah! Here we come again! Oh, this could be a second goal! Oh, Kalanchuk's not touched it right! Oh! What a bad bring down my Kalanchuk! Damn it, damn it, damn it! We could have been looking at a 2 0 scoreline then. Well executed. Jack Wilshaw, he's picked out a pass again. Oh, great interception. That has stopped the attack. Oh, lovely defending. Defending that like a life depends on it. It's Piscopo. It's. Ooh. It's, it's so close to being a break again. It's not good because they've got Murtasaka at the back. And I mean, he should be like 97 years old now. So and he's, he was already slow to begin with. I mean, what is he now? And he's against Ramizi and Piscopo. Here they come again. And that is a fantastic goal by Jack Wilshire. I told you he was the best player that they've got at the moment. Well taken. Wiltshire the captain draws Arsenal level. God damn it. It was coming to be honest. They've been playing better than me even though our goal was sensational. Well we're back at level pegging again at 1-1. Excellent interception. Oh referee. Thank you very much. Now can we do anything with this? 
They've got two extremely slow centre backs. Oh, it was put into an area where Pescovo could have just knocked it on. Decided not to, and it's long time, but 1 1. The wingers down for Arsenal. Mayachi, I think his name is. Don't know if I pronounced that right. Go on, Melbourne! We might get an update on that now from our man Jeff Shrees. Here he goes. He's quick. He's very quick. Mertesacker's not gonna touch him. Holy crap! Well, what a piece of play by Woodard. I've got to take young Melberg off marking Jack Wilkinson because he's just getting run. Just Surely that were a foul! Whoa, what a save, Kachunga! What a save! He was offside, he wasn't offside. What another amazing save by Kachunga! Ramos Suarez. Let's go, ball. This is the last chance, last chance saloon. It's Pascopo. He specializes in last chance saloon. Pascopo! His drought finishes. Yeah! Yeah! Good old fake shot. Yeah! And I don't know what the Marlin were doing because if he went the other way he could have blocked that shot but now he um, he marked Melbourne for some strange fuck off reason yes that's it that's how long the remaining minutes and seconds of extra time was that is just oh brilliant Pescopo is back he was having a little break in episode 66, but now, now with the late goal against Arsenal, with one Arsenal, another very, very difficult game, and we've won it 2-1. Yes, even more England call-up. Ben Burns has given an international call-up. For England, that is just an amazing achievement and so well deserved by Mr. Ben Burns. What a legend. Uh, Lucas Perez is in the Argentinian side, so he will meet up with Messi and say hello, shake his hand. Oh man, this Chesterfield side are going places. And the next place to visit is Wigan away. Fantastic. It's, it's the place that I want to go. It's Wigan Athletic. And I think that is Ryan Brown against Chesterfield. Indeed it is, he's left forward for Wigan. It's Ryan Brown. All eyes on Ryan Brown. How'd you feel in a Wigan shirt, mate? You're punching well above your weight. <laughs> you you shouldn't be in the Premier League anymore. McLean, lovely. The Scopo, he can't hit it from there. Oh! Tell you what, he did hit it from there as well. Wow. 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 Oh, Brown. He thinks he's still playing for Chesterfield here. It's Sederberg. I would have gone straight into Ryan Brown's face if we celebrate, if we scored then. Fucking celebrations there. Oh, it's getting close. The goal's getting close here. I do think this team are clever when they do attack. Just like this, they're playing well. Oh, that was the worst clearance. Oh, Ryan Brown nearly had the chance to shoot he's got another chance what a ball in Bosajor has just scored from a Ryan Brown assist holy crap holy crap no this is not happening I'm not losing to Ryan fucking Brown it's Ryan Brown again oh yes Great tackle by Halfar. Maybe we can break and maybe we can score before half time. It's Dominico Pascoco. He's quite tired, but that doesn't matter because he can pass it to Perez and it can be 1 1. This Wigan side have been lucky so far, but now we have finally broken through their defences. And we should go on to win this now. Oh, oh yes! What a save, Kachunga! Yet again, we do not deserve to go behind here. 
goalkeeper might be needed again. Kachung is making sure we don't go behind. Sederberg, absolutely free in the middle of the pitch. This could be trouble for Wigan. Oh, it's been done again, the fake shot. Andreas Sederberg. That's it, that's the win now. It's in. It's done. And to be honest, we should have won it. We should have won it earlier than that. I wish fake shots weren't as effective. Because you sometimes I just don't want to do fake shots all the time to win games. But to be honest, if if FIFA were we're going to give me goals for good efforts, for Scopo's long range of what hit the uh, post, that should have gone in instead of that fake shot what I did in the last minute. Wigan one, Chesterfield two. We get the three points. Another really tricky game. Chesterfield against Liverpool. I'm sure last time last time that we played Liverpool, we lost 2-1. Think so. Anyway, I know that we lost 2-1 somewhere around last season. Let's do it. Let's win them this time. Good support play. Around the man on the ball. Here's the cross. No. Yes. Yes. A Was that a dive? Mr. 29 just fell to the floor like a sack of spuds. Lovely pass. Oh, we should have done more with that. Scopo. Oh, yes. Oh. I tell you what. Liverpool. Very lucky there. Support arriving to the left. Kelvin trying to the attack was fucking skill on Woodards. That's not happening. Aldera. Scopo just gets to it. It wasn't the best of passes. Scopo's running upfield for us. Passing it we well shall here. give him a ball. There's the ball. There's the space. And there is the tackle. Ramos Suarez. Running to the space. We will find the pass. Or we won't Can find the pass. Here is now this could be danger. Forward, really. Quick ball. Or oh, Mark Halfar will just deal with it like that because he's just he's just a tower. Disappointed, really. Aldera. Beginning to play out from the back. Remise. Got a second bite at the pass. Oh, that's lovely. It's Ross Ball. Oh, oh yes. It's Chesterfield one, Liverpool nil. And it's the fans' favourite Ross Ball. He's put it into the top corner. Aldera. Oh, yes. The on rushing Ramos Suarez nearly makes it 2 0. It's a smart save by the Liverpool goalkeeper. Kalanchuk with the corner in. Piscopo, great save. Oh, how far got pushed out of it. Oh, John Saunders has made a mistake. And one push and it's a penalty. Oh my God. If that happened at the other end of the field, I would have not got a penalty. That is pathetic. Barini against Kachunga. This has got to be a save. He's going slow. He's going to chip it. Oh. I got a comment a couple of weeks ago saying, look, here's a tip. If they walk slower to the ball, they are going to chip it. And thank God he walked slower to the ball then. And I just took on board that piece of advice. Thank you very much, whoever said that to me. Whoever put that down in the comment section. This should be it. Yes. Yes, it is. Chesterfield 1, Liverpool 0. Spurs have won again against Aston Villa 2-0. They keep the heat on us. The pressure is still on us. 14 games played. Three points in it. So this has been Youth Squad Legends episode 67. I'm Cutsy Gaming. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.